Hey y'all, what's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. It's Alexis, aka Alexicure. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, if you're a new viewer, make sure you subscribe before you leave. I would love for you to join the family. And if you're not new, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, in today's video, I'm basically just gonna do kind of like, this is nothing new to me, but, um, cause I do this kind of like, this is the same look that I do all the time, you know, but um, I'm just going to go a little more in depth for people who like a like everyday minimal type of makeup. But um, yeah. Oh, and I got my nails done. Y'all like them. When I got them done, like I asked for like a tangerine color. I'm like, because I had on the, um, the Fenty Beauty lip gloss yesterday, the slip shine and tang thing. So I pulled down my mask and I was like, I want my nails to be kind of like the same color as my mat as my lips. And so it was supposed to be like a tangerine, but now that I'm looking at it, it's actually like it looked more red than orange. I don't like that for me. I mean it's cute. <laughs> it's cute, but I don't like that for me. <laughs> and I don't know what it is, but like something been like irritating my skin. So if it look a little like reddish right here, I honestly don't know what that is like i have a shocking statement to make i already um did skincare y'all know the drill i did skincare eyebrows already done Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> what the freak no we gonna use that i always forget what i'm talking about oh yeah so i have a secret i want to reveal Y'all don't judge me. It's not a bad secret. <laughs> For those of y'all who don't know, most people don't know. But if you follow me on Instagram and have ever, like, went through my pictures, not on those stalker mess, but you know what I'm saying. You would know that um, I had my hair cut years ago. I got my hair cut my 11th grade year in high school, of course. And, um, <laughs> it was lit. Like, that was a look. It is. I loved my haircut. I wore my haircut up until I was 20 years old. So from 17 to 20, I had a haircut. And it was like shaved on the sides and in the back. And I just had hair at the top. <sighs> I miss my freaking haircut. And I want to cut it again so bad. Hold on. That's my sister calling me. Hello? Yeah, I'm at home. Yeah. I'll stop by before I head out. Okay, well, I'm doing the video, so, um, yeah. I, I pulled the hell out of that haircut. Like, I miss it so much. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't relax it again, though. That's the thing. I would just cut it and wear it natural at the top. Keep it natural. But then I'll switch it up. You know, I might blow dry it and do a little swoop you know <laughs> but yeah okay foundation okay so for foundation first off um i'm completely straying away from the freaking video i use the milk makeup hydro grip primer because it really does like give it give your skin a tacky feel and it does help your makeup stick throughout the day so that's one of the first tips i would say to get like um long wearing I guess like flawless makeup, milk makeup, milk, why do I always say that? Milk makeup hydro grip primer is a really good primer for those who want to keep a foundation on for a certain amount of hours. It really does help. So for foundation, I'm going in with Cover Effects. This is in the shade, this is the Power Play Foundation. I have it in the shade N70. This is one of my most recent foundation buys. Yeah, I'm just going to dab some of this on my face.
For concealer, um, I find that I do love other concealers, but this Hourglass Veil Concealer is just, it is Veil, right? Or is it Vanish? Y'all always get it mixed up. It's Vanish. I find that it's just so smooth and it's matte. So I know for me, with me having oily skin, this just works really good for me. Now you do have to work fast with this um, concealer with this foundation because the Cover Effects foundation is, um, it dries down like very fast. So you have to work kind of fast. To bake just a little bit I'm going in I mean just a little bit because I did this um, routine yesterday and I guess because the foundation is very matte that was the first time the hourglass ever left me kind of like I wouldn't say patchy but it was just really dry that was the first time it did that and y'all know I've been using this <sighs> like crazy since I bought it so um yeah this it actually I don't want to I don't want to bake too long like because I don't I didn't like the way it it looked yesterday I had to kind of work extra hard but the thing is that I really did like about this foundation well this combination was the fact that my skin held up all day yesterday like my base it stayed flawless all day yesterday. I had a little bit of oils come through, but for the most part, my makeup stayed flawless. So, I'm going for that again today. So, I'm just going to lightly set, and I'm not going to let it sit long at all. Okay, so this is actually my second time baking. Um, I had to let my camera cool off again. I'm not really sure why it keeps doing that, but... I had to let it turn off again, cool off again. So I went in and baked a second time. And I'm just going to dust that off. I made sure to set my smile lines by my mouth because I do kind of crease that. At first, at first, I didn't realize that I was creasing in my smile lines like right here. Until, you know, I'll take my pictures and I really started noticing that, you know, every time I just take a picture, I would see those lines. So I made sure to set that because I do want my smile lines to not show up <laughs> or I just want it to last longer. So that's the whole point of this video of this makeup is to get long lasting makeup so we want to set the areas that we know has the possibility to crease throughout the day so i made sure i set those and i baked under my eye twice but like i said i didn't like bake bake that long because i do know with this combination it is matte it's very matte because i want something more natural and neutral looking i'm going in with my fenty beauty um bronzer and caramel cutie and I rarely use this because, um, like I said, it is neutral. But I noticed yesterday I used, um, first I used Becca and Eponema Sun. And I was like, the combination together, it made it look kind of like patchy in my jaw area. And I did not like that. So then I went on top with the NARS and tried to clean it up a little bit. But, you know, it came out good. But, um... NARS, of course, the shade that I have is Casino and it pulls a little more like reddish. So I'm going in with something more neutral today. And I'm just going to focus that on the areas that I want to pop the most where the sun naturally hits. That's the whole point of bronzer. So I'm using that. 
and I'm gonna focus it right here not so much in the hollows of my cheeks because that's for contour I'm gonna take it up here and just kind of tap right here around this area a little bit on the forehead I think that looks really good. Like, okay, this was this is okay. It's, it's I'm getting excited. It's turning out better than it did yesterday, actually, and um, I'm happy. So for bronze, I mean for um, blush, I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, normally, yesterday I actually used um Fenty Beauty Shimmer Stick Match Stick in the shade chili mango and although it was so pretty y'all know that it is um like a cream stick and yeah i was just like oranged out yesterday i had on my chili mango y'all know it's like a orange like tangerine so um it was so pretty but it was almost too glowy because at the end of the day although my makeup held up really good you could tell that I had a cream blush on because my cheeks looked glowy, like dewy. And it was pretty, but I'm not the biggest fan of like a dewy, glowy face because I do have very oily skin. So my skin is going to produce those oils anyway. So my oils mixing in with the cream blush, it just kind of did something I didn't like. <laughs> so I'm going in with a matte um blush today and like i said this is the anastasia beverly hills y'all know i use this in every video and i'm gonna just focus it right here on kind of like on top of where i applied the bronzer but i'm making sure i hit right here on my temples um i'm going back in with the fenty beauty to just to bronze up my nose I like this technique better than actually contouring, like defining my nose because I don't, I don't, I notice that when I do that, my T-zone gets extremely oily throughout the day. Like if I cream contour, that's the, that's one of the main reasons I stop cream contouring. If y'all haven't noticed in my past few videos, I only been like powder bronze and like I have not been cream contouring because I noticed that my makeup lasts much longer and it looks way more like matte when I don't cream contour because when I do cream, it gets really, really oily throughout the day and I hate that. Like I hate that. So if I cream contour my nose, y'all my nose will literally look like just so oily and just it is not cute it's not a good look i don't like that for me <laughs> so i don't do that anymore so now as y'all can see i just go in with my brush with my fluffy brush and i just kind of you know i tap around my nose like that and that automatically give it like a give it like a sunburnt type of look so i prefer that actually like i'm mad i had wasn't doing that a while ago because that would have saved me a whole lot of embarrassing moments <laughs> for um dang it highlight for highlight <laughs> fancy beauty of course i need a new i need a new highlight if y'all know some good highlights y'all leave them down below because i do need a good highlight i actually hit pan in this a long time ago but i'm still scraping and i'm gonna get every little bit out of this because i paid my good money for it so she gonna get used to the last drop please believe that so i'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on the tip of my nose now i don't use a lot of highlight i actually don't highlight these areas anymore because of course like i just think that it's a lot you know when you put it right there but also i keep it really light on the bottom half of my face because of course we in a a panty we in a pandemic 
so a mask is constantly being worn i hate it when i take off my mask and i actually see all my hard work <laughs> just sitting in that mask <laughs> i don't appreciate that because like all my highlight will be off my nose like everything will just be gone so that's another reason why i keep it minimal on my nose because you know the mask of course is rubbing up against this area and i don't want like cream products to really smudge for um lip liner i'm taking my kkw beauty um kim k of course and i have it in the shade what is this nude 2.5 Wait a minute. I'm actually not going to use eyelashes today. I'm kind of torn. I'm torn between just a regular gloss, Fenty Beauty, and Fussy. Or should I do, y'all probably tired of seeing me use this. Should I do Tang Thing? I love it though. Like, And then it matched my nails, so it's cute. Can I wear it? <laughs> Don't talk about me, but I like this. I want to wear Tang Thing again or actually go in with Maybelline. And this is like actually orange, orange. I feel like, I feel like the look is just so natural looking and pretty. And I don't want to put on like a, a loud lip color, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like it'll just be too boring with just the lip gloss. It's actually looking more pink than it is orange though. Mm. It's cute though. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. I'm about to go in with my mascara. If y'all know any good mascaras, because I thought this was going to be good, like, when I seen it in the store, because I ran out of my Too Faced Better Than Sex, and that was the best mascara I ever tried. So, after I ran out, I went and picked this up, thinking that it was going to be excellent, and it's actually, like, this is the Maybelline Total Temptation. And it's okay, but it's like, I know for a fact my eyelashes can look 10 times better than this. But just because I'm not wearing lashes and I don't have any other mascara, I'm just going to go in with this. I think it's because of the, um, the wand on it. Like, the wand isn't, I don't know. Like, you just know a good wand when you see one for a mascara. But it's okay. As y'all can see, like, it already made, like, a big difference in my eyes <laughs> scoop that is scoop that is scoop that is scoop that is scoop shaka laka shaka laka shaka laka scoop <laughs> that's my favorite commercial i hear it on the tv in the living room but y'all that is legit my favorite commercial every time it come on my kids be like mommy mommy look look <laughs> And they sit there and do the little dance. Girl, we all be in the living room like. Alright, y'all. So, that's the finished look. Um, Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can really see. I think everything just look so flawless. I do gotta go lay my baby hairs. I gotta lay my edges. But, you know, besides that, I think this makeup look is so pretty. It's so, like, just... It's, it's a natural, it's a natural finish, you know. It all depends on what type of finish you like going for. And for me, y'all know I'm oily skin, so I prefer matte finish or or either just natural finish. And this is definitely, definitely giving natural finish vibes. Like, I don't see, it's not like shimmery anywhere. Like, everything just look together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, yeah, I just think this is so natural looking. It's so pretty. It's minimal products. As y'all can see, like, I barely used a whole lot of product. Like, then cream bronze, did not use eyeshadow, real eyelashes, like, and it look, it, it looks flawless in my opinion. Like, 
it's giving it's giving your girl what it needs to be giving your girl like <laughs> but yeah that completes this video y'all if y'all enjoyed it make sure you give me a thumbs up y'all go follow me on my social media instagram snapchat all that i'll leave all the information down below and i also leave the products that i use in the description box in the meantime go watch another video and i'll catch y'all in my next one